What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the 16-minute gameplay we got on Gotham Knights. So I watched it live, I recorded it live, and uh, wow. Uh, I, I honestly have split thoughts, to be flat out honest with you. Um, I, I know I was talking to some of, of you guys on Twitter, and it's like, this could very well be make or break, right? 16 minutes, kind of uninterrupted. Now it was, right? They jumped around a little bit, but it was mainly uninterrupted, and this really could decide it for a lot of people, where it's like, alright, you know, you could chalk up some of the the past stuff to be the person playing it wasn't good right with the nightwing red hood stuff uh you know and some stuff was good but let's see how it is kind of just on its own and it kind of was all over the place to be honest with you let's go over the strengths first because i do think there were some strengths visually i thought it looked fine i didn't think it looked like incredible but i liked it i liked the visual look i've always been uh not as down on the visuals as other people have i get it but i have never been uh, quite as down on it as other people i thought the combat was fantastic um Besides, and I would say combat slash even moving around as the character. I think some of it probably gets held back because, you know, they do the whole game showcase thing. I've never really liked it, you know, when they walk very slow, slower than the average person would do with the character. They do very slow, like, camera sweeps to show the area. It, I, I don't understand why anybody does that because nobody does that when you're actually playing a game. But besides that, which, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold against the game because everybody does that, the combat looked really good Batgirl looks like uh, what you would imagine an Arkham like uh, combat to be right she's sliding around she's very agile but not like nuts right that's I guess Nightwing that'll be his thing but the combat looks really good in, in terms of fighting right just the basic attacks throwing projectiles looked awesome uh, going from one place to the next like you know kind of zip lining um, and then being able to do takedowns I thought it looked good I mean there's really nothing that I can say too much about the combat that upset me the end boss was annoying because it's like they were purposely resetting themselves like six times again that was stupid i don't understand why anybody ever sets up a gameplay thing like that you should just i know i know you're trying to extend it a little bit maybe you're trying to show the different attacks right because back rolls attacks again her, you know when she's swinging i like it i like the actual movement of her i think it looks pretty realistic as well um but you know you didn't have to do that you didn't have to reset against the what bulldozer i think was his name right and then have to constantly go back at him right off the bat in the beginning you find a reference to you know what we've seen in the past in uh, dr langstrom the problem is of course is he's dead so it seems like they're taking a lot of past things that maybe we would want to see maybe not and then uh, kill them off in this game but no i mean you had that then in terms of the weaknesses i would say the voice oh well th there's two different parts to it the dialogue i don't know what's going on the dialogue did not impress me whatsoever now again Keep in mind, the positives and, I guess, the negatives, but because I think people are a little bit more sensitive when I go into the negatives, these are things that, like, we're taking them in a vacuum, right? These are 16 minutes. I think they could play out very differently, and, and you can have a different feel to them as the game progresses. So this is just my impressions of 16 minutes. The dialogue, I thought, was not good at all uh, in every way, right? From the, the kind of, like, the grunts, the low-level thieves, when they're talking, the di like the actual written words that the voice actors are reading off, I, I'm not a huge fan. I'm not even a huge fan of, you know, when the knights are talking. The voice acting was kind of all over the place, too. I'm not going to hold it too much against, again, any of the specific knights because, again, I think this is something where, you, you know, you are taking it in a vacuum. You, you take 10 minutes of dialogue from these characters, give them 20 hours, and then I think we can judge them fully. But those are... Those are two pretty important things. I mean, obviously, the story is going to be quite important, and we'll see what that's like, um, you know, as when the game comes out, or if IGN shows it this month, we'll see. But in terms of that, I'm not impressed, and that's kind of something that I'm a little worried about because, uh, you know, if if the dialogue is not well written throughout the whole game, that's going to massively hurt it. And then the voice acting, again, from kind of everybody, it wasn't god awful. Well, it was awful for some of them, but it wasn't god awful for the whole thing. But it was just very, very un even this wasn't like a you know this wasn't I, I wouldn't show this off as like this is where we have like the best voice acting talents in the world every character sounds like you know they're really there no i, I would not say that uh, or every I, I well every character was there but some of them I, I guess purposely were supposed to be nuts right some of the, the some of the vandalists but um that's my thoughts on it so far so gameplay definitely good i would say even movement good 
visuals you know solid voice acting and dialogue i would say not good that's kind of the uh, the spectrum i would give it and then again you know having some references i you can't really i would say piece together where the story's going i mean you had robin say you know with batman missing and he paused there so i don't know if that's like they're gonna try to make it out to be with the uh criminals in the in the world they're gonna try to make it out to be like batman's missing he's not dead to try to not make it too crazy or maybe at least early on in the game they still believe that it's all like a ruse right like batman's not actually dead he he's like pulling a prank on them like he's just missing so that one's that one's kind of interesting now they said they skipped the prologue right there's a prologue to this game and then they started you know after that and they, again they jumped around just a little bit after that so we'll see what that kind of meant i mean again i think you could take it both ways you could either make it where when they're talking to villains and villains are like hey where's batman like it's oh he's on vacation like you kind of just throw that in or again maybe it's kind of a mental state they're go gonna go through almost just like disbelief right they cannot believe their father figure their mentor is dead so they almost fool themselves into thinking they make themselves believe that he really is just missing there's no way he can be dead it's funny that that could be what they're doing when you have the audience right constantly asking is batman really dead in warner bros montreal he's dead he's deader than dead so we'll see how it plays out we'll see if uh, they actually you know keep him dead throughout the entire game so let me know what you guys think make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on if you want to follow or support me anywhere else all my social media is in the description below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all on the next one